Hey guys, welcome back to Dolph Oddity. Today I am bringing you part 2 of the green mini paper mache mask making tutorial. This is the mask I used in my Scream Queen Season 2 parody opening video. Now if you did not watch part 1 of this tutorial, make sure you go and watch that where I show you how to make the actual physical mask itself using paper mache and liquid latex. Today I'm going to show you how to paint that mask. Now assuming you have completed the whole mask making, it should look a little something like this. And we are going to start by painting the latex covered face. Now when painting latex, things go a little different than other things. You can't really just use some normal acrylics. I guess you could, but it would take a lot longer and it would not stick as well. Over time it would peel off. So to correct this, we're going to make some rubber cement paint. To do so, just pour a little bit of some rubber cement into a paper cup and then mix in some green oil-based paint. If it comes out a little bit too thick for your liking, which it did for me, you can mix in some naphtha, which is essentially a paint thinner. If you do opt to use the naphtha, make sure you wear some sort of respiratory protection. Its fumes are very dangerous. Once you have that, go ahead and start painting that all over the face. As you can see, it has a very nice green slimy look to it, which is perfect for what we were trying to create as the green mini is in fact a swamp monster. As you're painting, you will notice just how well this paint sticks to the latex. Even the parts where it's real thin, you can see that it is attaching very strong to the mask itself. If you were using acrylics at this point, it would be very shrinky and it wouldn't look that good. Uh, this way is really the best way to go. Go ahead and put a nice good green coat over the entire mask and let that dry. You'll probably want to end up putting two to three coats of this on and it should look a little something like this. It is a little dark, but that is okay, I promise. Now it does look pretty good. It's green like the green mini, but it is a little flat. So go ahead and mix up a lime green batch of rubber cement paint and add that to all the high areas like around the nose and the little eye holes. And then you can go back in with a very liquidy version of the paint and start adding some drips to further add the effect that the green mini is melting in the acid nasty swamp that he lives in. Go ahead and add this all over the entire thing until you are pleased with how it looks. And once you are done with this, you're going to go ahead and let all that dry real good and we're going to move on to the horns. Now just like we did with that green paint on all the high areas of the face, Go ahead and add a beige to all the ridges of the horns. This will make them stick out and make the horns look far less flat and really make sure that you can get all those rings visible. Once you are done adding some very good highlights all over the face and horns, it is time to add some shadowing or contouring as the kids are calling it these days. To do this, I'm going to take some very dark brown acrylic paints, water down with a little bit of water, and I'm going to paint that all over the horns covering both the highlight and all the divots and then tap that off of the high point with a paper towel. This will make the deep points look deeper just like we made the high points look higher with the highlight and it will also blend out any harsh paint edges we got from highlighting and just make the horns look a lot better in general. We're going to bring the same concept onto the face using some watered down black acrylics. Does not have to be rubber cement paint. Some acrylics will work just fine for this as we're trying to make him look dirty because the green mini is very dirty. Just paint some watered down black all over the face and then dab it off of the high points with a paper towel. Once you've done this, you can actually go back in with a glossy sealant on just the face, not the horns. The horns should be kind of matte, but you can add a glossy spray cover onto the face if you like, or you can leave it how it is. Either way will work just fine. And now you have your mask. It's looking so awesome, and it is time to cover up those eye holes because the green meanie does not have human eyes. He just has black sockets, so to do this, I'm just going to cut a black piece of sheer fabric from this old shirt I found laying around. And then I'm just going to use some hot glue to attach that over the eye hole so that whenever you put the mask on, you can see out of it, but nobody can see your beautiful human eyes on the other side looking at them. 
Be careful at this point not to burn your fingers when you are hot gluing fabric. The hot glue does tend to seep through the fabric, so keep that in mind. You do not want to burn yourself. Do that for both eyes, and there you go. And now it is time to try the mask on. At this point, the mask was fitting pretty dang good to my face. I could see out of it just fine, and it stayed on pretty well until I put my head downward, and it just sort of fell off. So I think I need a strap. To do this, I'm going to be using some elastic and a buckle that I got from the craft store. Trim a piece of elastic, not too big, a small piece will do just fine and use some hot glue to attach that to one side of the mask about where your forehead ear area sits and glue that on very good. Then run the other end through one side of the belt buckle, pull it through and fold it over like this. Then you can sew it on or you can just use a little bit more hot glue. And now your buckle is attached. Now take a longer piece of elastic and a glue that on the opposite side of the mask, making sure to keep it about even where you glued the strap on the other side. Glue that on real good. Make sure you use lots of hot glue for this because you do not want it to rip off while you are wearing the mask and it fall off, that would just be awful. So stick it on real good and then run through the other side of the buckle. And again, you can just use a little bit of hot glue to bend the side over and you've got a buckle. Yes, and now the mask will stay on your face perfectly fine, and that is it, guys. You have made yourself a green mini mask. All right, that's it for today's video, guys. If you have not already, make sure you go back and watch part one of this tutorial where I show you how to make the mask. And while you're at it, why not watch some more Dalt Oddity? And if you have not already, but you would really like to, make sure you click that button and subscribe. I make lots of great videos all the time teaching how to do amazing things. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you soon with another tutorial.